chariot is, uh, as it were, almost at the other end of the disease spectrum, right? Whereas attack is attacking really the very earlier phase. Um, uh, a chariot is uh, for people um, in, uh, uh, with an EDSS of 6.5 to 8.5. So that's essentially people who are in a wheelchair or using a wheelchair uh, and uh, where we're um, uh, trying to maintain upper limb function uh, this is the primary outcome here. Uh, it'll be a nine-hole pack test um, in uh, nine-hole pack test speed um, and over that two-year trial uh, duration. Why are we using the drug we're using, which is Cladibin? Um It's uh, well tested. It's highly effective in people with earlier relapsing disease, but it also has the advantage of um, uh, uh, some reasonably good data and slightly more advanced age. And um, it has the uh, capacity to penetrate into the central nervous system. It's a small molecule. And we expect that that, if anything, would have a positive effect because uh, we know from pathology data that um, in more advanced disease, um, people will develop what we call follicle-like structures that uh, nurture and, and maintain the um, inflammatory response in um, a chronic and, and progressive MS. So this is a, very much a, 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 a trial that is, um, I think, reassessing also the assessment uh, methodology. Obviously, in the past, everything was very much based on the EDSS, and the cutoff there was either EDSS 6 or 6.5. It was very much driven by ambulation and walking. Here, we take the nano pack test, and that is a kind of a break with tradition. The next break is that there's no upper age limit. So um, people of any age can participate in this, I mean, from 18 upwards. Um, uh, but uh, there's obviously exclusion criteria based, based on, as if you will, um, biological age, but not age per se will be an exclusion reason. So it's also, I think, very well received by the community that finally something is being done for the nearly 40% of patients that are at this disease uh, uh, stage um, and that have never been included in disease-modifying drug trials. And the same applies to people who are over 50, 55, or 60 uh, who can participate. In fact, our first participant was um, an artist at the end of the age of uh, 70. So Carol, she's on the um, MS Society's website. <laughs> yeah, so this is 200 patients, 20 centers throughout the UK. We have 16 open so far in all four nations. And uh, so I look forward to further rapid recruitment and, and, um, and then uh, the outcomes.